Hi, I'm Felipe Heitman from Belo Horizonte, Brazil, and this is my CS50 Python final project, Financial Behavior Test. When planning a survey, the first platform you think about is Google Forms or something like that. But what if your survey needs to assign different values to each of users' answers and not only check if they're right or wrong? This is why I created this final project for CS50's Introduction to Programming with Python. The Financial Behavior Test has 10 different questions, with three answers each. When the user selects the first option, it adds 10 points to the final score. When the user selects the second option, adds 5 points to the final score. And the third option adds 0 points to the final score. With all the answers from the user, the app computes the final score and assigns a financial behavior profile to this user. If the score is above 80, the profile is investor. If the score is between 50 and 75, the profile is financially balanced. If the score is between 20 and 45, the profile is indebted. And if it's below 15, the profile is over indebted. For each profile, there is a text with a commentary and orientation for the user in that profile. After that, the user is presented with a financial spreadsheet and an article about the methodology used in the survey. Let's check what's inside. The Financial Behavior Test is hosted at Streamlit Cloud and was created using Streamlit Library for the user interface. The question, answers, tags are all located from a JSON file using a JSON library in Python. The logic of computing the score and getting the user profile was created in Python using lists, dictionaries, tuples, for loops, and if conditional statements. The user score, profile, instruction level, age, and monthly wage are recorded in a CSV file for further analysis. Go check it using this QR code or the link in the description of this video. Thank you. This was CS50. Bye.